and Hills of the Savannah. And Hills of the Savannah is a 1987 novel by Nigerian writer Chinua Achebe. It was his fifth novel, first published in the United Kingdom 21 years after Achebe's previous one, A Man of the People in 1966, and was credited with having revived his reputation in Britain. A finalist for the 1987 Booker Prize for Fiction, Ant Hills of the Savannah has been described as the most important novel to come out of Africa in the 1980s. Critics praised the novel upon its release. The novel was well received by critics. Charles Johnson, writing for the Washington Post, praised the book, but faulted Achebe for failing to fully flesh out his characters. Nadine Gordimer praised the book's humor, particularly when contrasted against what she called the horror contrasted against it. Plot of the novel Ant Hills of the Savannah takes place in the imaginary West African country of Kangan, where a Sandhurst trained officer, identified only as Sam and known as His Excellency, has taken power following a military coup. Achebe describes the political situation through the experiences of three friends. Chris Origo, the government's commissioner for information. Beatrice Ogo, an official in the Ministry of Finance. And girlfriend of Chris. And Ike Mosodi, a newspaper editor critical of the regime. Other characters include Ilewa, Akeem's girlfriend and Major Samsonite. Osai, a military official known for stapling hands with a Samsonite stapler. Tensions escalate through the novel, culminating in the assassination of Akeem by the regime, the toppling and death of Sam and finally the murder of Chris. The book ends with a non-traditional naming ceremony for Ilewa, and Akeem's month-old daughter organized by Beatrice. Analysis of the novel. The landscape of Abazan is dry and parched. Sun-bleached Kangin desert pockmarked by ant hills. After two years without rain or aid from Bassa, the seat of power, six elders have come to the city to petition the president for help. In his fictional African nation, Shinua Achebe presents a notion of faltering government from within and without. From the perspectives of the government commissioner, Chris, the editor-in-chief of the national newspaper, Akeem, and the woman important to them both, Beatrice, we are shown a crumbling regime from both a humorous and a tragic point of view. The Ant Hills of the title, an image reused throughout the novel, are manyfold. They represent the indecision and hesitation of government officials to question their leader burying themselves like ants in the dry soil of the savannah. They represent cracks in the landscape brought to light by the death of vegetation. Because of the oppressive sun, a metaphorical parallel to the fractures in a government exposed by incompetence from above. As in other African literature. However, as physical features of the land they also stand on their own merits, blisters on the earth itself. A punishment from above. Achebe's novel is difficult in that there is no moral absolute. No character is flawless and though there is a clear desire on the part of the reader for the government to fall, it is unclear what it would achieve and what would replace it. What is clear is the distinction made between the educated characters and the peasants as they are known in an integral speech given by the editor. Akeem. Not only in terms of the comparisons between how they live, but also in their speech itself. The central group of characters around which the novel revolves speak in a formal, perfect English. The divide between class manifests itself in a dense pidgin dialect. That almost makes those characters too difficult to understand. Ironically, some of the most profound statements are made by these characters. And the novel is concluded on a question phrased to an English educated. Beatrice from Akeem's girlfriend in this dialect. In a way, it causes the reader to question the truly important characters in the novel. Chris often talks about how he, the president, and Akeem are the three most important people in Kangan. But in a way he is incorrect. 
Akim's fundamentally communist ideals would argue that it is the peasants and workers that are the important citizens. And indeed it is these proletariat that end up moving the plot and the fall of the government forward. Achebe's writing often has a very distinct agenda, a quality that his characters defend. In Antilles of the Savannah as an admirable trait in itself. Because everyone has an agenda. It is up to them whether or not it is advertised. In this case. Forcing the reader to decipher the dialect that is in many ways completely divorced from English is paramount. At first. The dialogue is so incomprehensible it feels almost natural to dismiss it. Ignore it. And focus instead on what we readily understand. But. Throughout reading the novel. We learn how important those characters and their words are. And sympathize with them more effectively. Though manipulative. It is a manipulation that teaches us to question our very instincts. And stays with us beyond just the reading of the novel. End of the analysis. Thank you.